Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome back to Spider-Man! New episode, new suit, we're gonna be wearing the Spider-UK suit. Interesting, I'm not sure where this one's from, but it's neat. <laughs> good old UK. United Kingdom. I think that's what it stands for. I feel really dumb that I can't really remember that right now, but okay! <laughs> Ah, uh, anyway, uh, the city still sucks. We're, uh, dealing with a lot here. There's people shooting at us at every turn. There's, you know, fires, and everything's exploding. And we gotta go figure out what's going on Heads with the Dr. Octavius. Thanks to Spider-Man attracting these psychos to our city like moths to a flame. We had them all stashed right off the coast of Manhattan. If only someone had pointed out what a bad idea that is. Wait, I did. So listen to me. Lock your doors. Arm yourselves with whatever you get your hands on. Now every man, woman, and child for themselves. And with reports that the Devil's Breath WMD has again been stolen, I have a very bad feeling it's only going to get worse from here. Yeah, honestly, I'm with JJ on this one. The fact that Rikers and The Raft are both right next door to the city. Fugitives are opening fire from stolen vehicles. Additional officers needed in Times Square. Over. It's it's a bit of a it's a it's a bit it's a bit of a problem, if I'm being perfectly honest. I feel like there is a smarter place to put all these guys far away from civilization. <laughs> you know. Spider-Man, here to lend a hand? Yes, I am, sir. Thought you might need one, officer. You don't know the half of it. Never seen anything like this devil's breath stuff. Forensics is having a hell of a time. News reports say this is where Otto released devil's breath. Might have left some residue I can track. Mean like this residue? Nope. Nope. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Some residue on this sign. Maybe I can isolate it. Chemistry. AT rich leader sequence. This looks promising. Whatever that means. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, da -da -dum. gotta see two things for each one. So this and this have to go here. That's how that works. Then this. And this for right here, I believe. Then this and this one. Yes. Oscorp's modified CPF one. Definitely devil's breath. We found it with science. Should be able to track the dispersal path now. Trail goes in a few directions. Need to find the right one. Well, let's go this way. Uh huh. Then it goes up here. Whoops. Okay. Hold on. 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 Pete. 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 Hold on. Give me. Like this. Okay. I wanted to do this. I think I have may have stumbled upon the right path here. Perhaps. All the way up the building. Uh-huh. Trail jumps between these buildings. Trail leads down into those vents. Back, back. What 
was Otto doing up here? Backpack. There should be a door or an access hatch around here. Backpack. Backpack. Thesis paper on neurotechnology. This got me the job with Dr. Octavius. Kind of a bittersweet thing to find at this very moment. If I'm being perfectly honest. Uh huh. This seems promising. This is moody. Must be some way to hit the lights. With electroweb. There'd be light. Whoa. Was Otto using this as a staging ground? Chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. Martin Lee. Can't believe this is the same man I knew at Feast. Uh huh. Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. How long have they known each other? Dr. Octavius, thank you for the medication. It's helped some, but the episodes continue to grow stronger. Things haven't been this bad since I was a child. I feel like I'm barely in control. Yesterday during Osborne's address, I came close to blacking out. Seeing him triggers feelings I thought I had long buried. I'm not sure how much longer I can live in a shadow like this. Again. Uh, Norman Osborne just ruining everybody's lives. <laughs> Looks like Otto recorded messages for his crew. Oh, Martin. When I first realized it was you targeting Osborne these past weeks, I was shocked and saddened. But then, as the situation evolved before my eyes, I felt... inspired. You took the bold steps I had always dreamed of, Martin, and you took them without hesitation. I am honored now to join you on this path towards... True justice. Uh huh. Anything else on the Martin desk? No, doesn't seem like it. Nothing we can interact with anyway. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, uh, anyone else? Anybody else? Huh, seems like we have a desk for the rhino. Good old rhino. My second favorite Russian. Uh, let's see. Otto developed a corrosive to free rhino from his suit. A certain government agency spent years trying and failing to do that. Only took Otto a few days. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. We got a little tape recorder here, too. Alexei, I've followed your career with great interest. The world sees you as a witless dullard. I see a warrior with a poet's heart. I know you desire freedom from the battle suit you're sealed inside. Help me achieve my goals, and freedom shall be yours. Seems like Dr. Octavius has been, uh... Kind of... Trying to make his case with everybody here. Uh, let's see. Mac Gargan, aka Scorpion, aka Crazy Pants McCrazy. Is that a uh, scientific term for scorpions? Scorpions helping Otto in exchange for a clean slate. Criminal record expunged. Gambling debts erased. Mm hmm. Probably just so he could do it all over again, honestly. It's rare for me to admit this, Mr. Gargan. Clearing your debts was more difficult than I anticipated. You're in arrears to some demanding individuals. But once the reservoir job is finished, your financial obligations will be finished as well. Otto Octavius is nothing if not persuasive. Now it kind of makes sense how he managed to get all the uh, funding and things he needed for his crazy battle suit. Uh huh. Old man Vulture. 
I've tangled with him more than anyone else here. Power source for Vulture's wings gave him spinal cancer, and Otto's developing an experimental treatment to save him. Well, that's nice of him. Even if it is for nefarious purposes. Adrian, what bitter irony that your miraculous wings should have brought such horrors on your body. Thankfully, you are now working for me. When our work is settled, the treatment I've developed will cure you. You won't shuffle off this mortal coil just yet, my friend. Uh huh. Well, at least he's still a helpful doctor. Uh, what else is here? Electro. Total live wire, that one. Uh huh. Electro's big pipe dream is to become pure energy. Doc actually managed to modify his harness to get a little closer to that goal. I mean, if you say so. Max, when you first conveyed your dream to me, I thought you insane. Pure energy. <laughs> but as I dove deeper into the problem, I discovered a way to give us both what we desire. I promise you, when we are done, you will be pure energy. Or so close to it as to make the difference irrelevant. I mean, Electro and Amazing Spider-Man 2 actually kind of got to that point towards the end. Though, that movie wasn't exactly great. <laughs> uh, let's see. Forget, I think... Did I miss something back here? I think I did. Otto's rage is driving him. The neural interface is exacerbating it. But his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. Anything here we can examine? Um, I don't think so. Seems like he's aware of the problem and yet doesn't really want to do much about it. Probably because he's going insane. Which is very unfortunate. He's such a nice guy. The whole thing with Dr. Octavius in this game, I joke about it a little by Peter missing work and things like that, driving him to sort of madness, but at the same time, it's just so sad. Looks like Otto's been studying Sable's tech for weaknesses. It's just a man with... A medical disorder looking to help himself and just genuinely help other people and then after a couple setbacks here comes Norman Osborn to ruin lives and put himself forward it's so it's it's just so bad all right Norman I feel like I can't turn around without seeing his face he smiles for the cameras, collects his accolades, and keeps his boot he have pressed against my neck. Why can't anyone else see how selfish he is? How reckless? How evil? If only they could be made to see the Norman I know. The man behind the mask. Now the worst people in the world? They're trying to... Oscorp has snaked itself throughout the city. Okay. Power, communication, public safety. Norman made his company essential, but also fragile. If a disaster were to occur, and a few small pressure points were tweaked, it would all fall apart. The public would see Norman for what he is, a leech on their lives. Yes, just a few simple steps, and he would be ruined forever. Is there more? It keeps flashing like it has more to do. How many men would I need? Well, let's see. First, some kind of disaster. A hurricane. An earthquake. Or a plague. Next, assault 
It's on Oscorp's power grid and emergency relief. Send the city into chaos. Let the people see the truth about Norman. Yes. Just a handful of men. No more than a half dozen. A sinister six. Ah, oh, he said the thing. He said the thing, guys. We can all go home. Martin has been arrested. Norman looks pleased. Believes he's safe. He has no idea. He's just put all the rotten eggs a man might need into a single basket. With Martin in Raft, alongside Scorpion, Rhino, Vulture, and Electro, a single swift kick is all it would take to send those eggs tumbling down the hill. Straight at Oscorp and Norman. Yes, just one small kick. I think it's time for me to lace up my boots and climb the hill. Though, and honestly, how much is here and, like, how much he had, to, like, planned out and set aside, it makes you wonder how long it's been in t since he, Dr. Octavius was, like, too far gone, you know? This is my final recording. Peter, if you're listening to this, Please know that I did what I thought was just. It may have been extreme, but when it comes to Norman, half measures will never do. Of all that I risk by taking this next step, the loss of our friendship will pay me the most. I hope that if we meet again, it will not be on opposite sides. And that makes it all the more worse. Because even through all this, he still considers Peter a friend, an ally, like a surrogate son of sorts, I'd imagine. It's... oh man. It's part of the story in this game that it just works so well. And it's so freaking sad that it ended up coming to this. What's this now? Otto must have used this map to plan, but it's blank. Unless there's something here I'm missing. Uh-huh. UV bulb. Huh, nothing happened. Must be a way to get that lamp on. Let's find out. Perhaps... Doing a little bit of this? There we go. And hey, it's on. Hidden markings. Otto's tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's trying to take apart Norman's empire piece by piece. Uh-huh. What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Definitely important. Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. Uh-huh. Rhino's targeting Oscorp shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp owned property. Yeah, because Oscorp just has to be involved with everything. Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely Norman. Uh huh. Definitely problematic. Uh, did I miss anything here? Oh, Icarus. Lee's going after the Devil's Breath anti-serum. Using something called Icarus? Well, that's... no good. Alright. Well... That won't let us investigate there anymore, so... What else is here? Did we miss anything? I'm not sure. Icarus, this is it. Oh, hi. Hello, Spider-Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm o Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? 
Ага. And seems like we've been brought into something. Trap failed? Softened him up. Time for plan B. And it's time to fight Ultra and Electro. Not gonna lie, this is probably like my favorite part of the game. Miss me, miss me, now you got it. You know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> Time to get up close to person. I can this damage is... him if I web the transformer. Alright, alright, web the transformer, he says. I'm trying to, game. Also trying not to get electrocuted. But yeah, this is just... This is just like an entirely like aerial battle between two su super villains, and it is just amazing. It really is. Like the whole process here, the whole. Time to do some damage. Well, there we go. But yeah, man, this whole battle, it's like the best. Oh boy, lost track of him. Got hit by lightning. That's because you've got another transformer going. Oh dear. Oh, not now, Dual Sense Wireless Controller. Okay, I, I did hit the circle button. I really did. If I'm being perfectly honest, I did hit that circle button. And... Webya. 
to zoom in. Whoop, there we go. But yeah, for real, this is just like the coolest fight in the entire game. And I am just all about it. One down, one to go. How many times have we done this dance, Adrian? A dozen? Two dozen? Once too many. Tonight will be your last waltz. Uh-huh. One half of this experiment is down, and now we just gotta... Whoop, there we go. Deal with the old man with spinal cancer. It's a lot crueler than it sounds, or you would think. Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. <sighs> yeah. Don't really know... How much convincing there is to be done here, Pete. Man, that fight's so cool. I love it so much. Team up. Just need to catch my breath. And Peter Parker goes to sleep for the first time in like a week. <laughs> I guess adrenaline does a lot to keep you awake sometimes. Oh man. Yeah. It's daytime. And foggy. Need to update Yuri. And rainy. Yuri, Vulture and Electro are down. Four to go. I saw. Also noticed a rooftop in Times Square exploded. Wouldn't happen to be related, would it? Nothing gets by you. It was Octavius' staging ground. He's using the villains to pull apart Oscorp. Vulture and Electro were targeting power plants. Scorpion's going after water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Something along the shoreline. That's good enough to start. I assume you're going after Scorpion? Yeah. City's already on the brink. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. I'll update you when I make progress. Sounds like a plan. Yep. You can definitely use a specific term here. That... I think it's appropriate. Somebody poisoned the water supply. Or at least somebody's going to. We need to go and make sure Scorpion doesn't do just that. Hey Pete, you okay? That's what I was gonna ask you. I'm fine, but you and May are in the middle of it. We're busy, but people need help. And I'd rather be doing something than waiting around for somebody else to fix things, you know? Yeah, I heard that. Just make sure you protect yourself. Mask and gloves. And rest every now and then. Well, that goes double for Meg. <sighs> Nobody can make that woman take a break when she doesn't want to. But I'll do my best. Thanks, Miles. Give me my love. And be safe. Need mask and gloves. Rest. Stay out of public. Boy, it's... Almost like this game predicted the future in some way. What's the situation in Columbia? Control APC echoes in. Oh, let's see. There's a backpack somewhere here. Backpack. Backpack. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Backpack. Neat. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Why doesn't it ever feel like it? Uh huh. <laughs> I get that feeling, Pete. But, anywho, now that we took care of Vulture and Electro, and we've discovered Dr. Octavius's dastardly plans, uh, we gotta take care of Scorpion, but...
but I think we're gonna be doing that next time. So thank you very much for watching. This is your good friend Sparky signing off for now, and I will catch you later. I seriously can never get over how cool that fight is. Like, seriously. So well done.